Let's do it. Don't think about it. You want to jump in? We are uh, Tebby Rex, and this is Slight Motif. Peggy's bus isn't necessarily about a bus in specifically, um, but it's more a metaphorical bus. Uh, so it's like an event, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a partner, um, anything that you can hinge your life on um, is not generally healthy. So if another, if one thing leaves, another one's coming, it's not too much to worry about. Unless you're from outside Dublin where the bus may or may not come. Um, where you could be waiting for days, weeks even for a bus to come. Whereas in Dublin bus, you guys get it every few minutes. That 39A rolls around every Yo, three seconds. Or any man there from Dublin who talks about their bus being late can actually suck their mom. I'm telling you now, man. Because <laughs> y'all think a bus being 15, 20 minutes late is a bus being late. A bus being an hour late, an hour 20, hour 30 from fucking Kildare, a bus errand. That's a bus being late, man. Like, y'all about to be here at 9, it's 9.010. Uh, fuck y'all. <laughs> fuck all you <laughs> So um, I lived in Mead, in Retote. It was kind of more in the country, like so I had to like walk 20 minutes to get a bus that went further into the country. And um, so I got the bus down to see, um, and <gasps> I was having sex. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but so yeah, I, um, I was riding this girl from Dunchalkin. <laughs> Don't say you're right. <laughs> yeah. Clapping cheeks to this girl from Dunchalkin. <laughs> Guys, the chocolate are told to not like each other, kind of like a, like a weird me rivalry thing. And uh, I was sitting at the bus stop, and some guys were like, Yeah, you have 10 minutes to get out of here. They should have always come I don't know what the story was. It was a big enough threat. And I was like, Right, I better get this bus then. I better be on time. It wasn't on time. It wasn't on time. I had to, I had to, just, I had to just run. I had to just go home, without the bus, make my own way, walking down. If anyone knows where the vortex is in the Rathagan Lake, it's just this long main road. So, uh, like a scared 17 year old that I was, I just ran the whole way home. <laughs> This one time these junkies were shooting up on the bus and I was like, this is uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> I was on the bus the other day and there's this drunk fella and he was like kind of harassing these women, yeah? And he was just kind of like, he kept on saying shit to them. Like one of them specifically was like, yo, you're mad fit. He's drunk out of his head. You know, I'd love to take you for a ride or whatever, yeah? Her and her, like Ma are like, you know, fuck off, leave me alone. And he would leave and then come back and leave and come back. But they seemed like they were handling it though, so I was like, I'm not gonna intervene and be like, hey bro, leave her alone. They seemed like they were fine. I get on the bus and he gets on the same bus as me, right? And then he sits at the top. I get on after him, I sit at the very back of the bus. He sees me sit at the back of the bus, right? And then he comes and sits with me. And he's like, I have my headphones on, he's trying to talk to me. I'm like, oh, this man, I'm not trying to talk. He's not trying to talk to me, I'm like, yeah, I'm not trying to talk. So he starts singing this song, and it's like, yo. No niggas here, da 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 da. I just said, I was racist shit, right? So I just talking about niggas going home. Because I pretend like I had my headphones off so I could hear him. So now I'm like, he testing me to see if I can hear him. I'm like, if I fight this guy, we'll both get kicked off the bus. You know? They won't discriminate and be like, well, he was being racist, so you can say it, you can leave. I'm I like to think that I'd be the happy go lucky bus driver that talks to everyone and waves, everyone and plays nice music, but I know for a fact I wouldn't be. I know, I know I'd be the angriest. Just quietest, listening to nothing. No one gets to hear music on my bus. See, like, I'd be a bus driver that minds my business, you know? Like, if someone, like, it's like, you know, 180 for a child fare, or like 210 for like a tree stop thing, and you're like, oh, where you going to? Like, it's not out of your pocket, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's the government's paying for it. Like, if it's 330 to get to Manu, I pay 285. Why are you fighting me? Like, bus drivers would be taking their job too seriously. Like, let's get the bus from point A to point B. Don't be quizzing people like where they're going. You see, you see also, this is a tangent, but also like, I remember one time I was on a train, super random. I had a child ticket, right? I tried finessing, the guy caught me out. He's like, listen, you're not a child, this kind of shit. He's like, I might find you, got me, you got me. He's like, do you want me to kick your teeth in? I'm like, what? Whoa. And he's like, are you a man? I'm like, I guess so. And he's like, no man would ever lie about some shit. I'm like, a broke nigga would, man. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> like, <laughs> I was like, keep my teeth in. Is, am I stealing money from you? Like, like, I was so shocked. I'm like, where is this coming from? Like, the guy was really ready to scrap. So I tried to finesse the Irish government. Like, I pay taxes, maybe I finesse the government sometimes. I don't know, man. Wild. Do we all thank the bus driver? Does everyone do that? Bus, I, I think you do. I think I'd get fed up with that if I was a bus driver. I'm like, you don't mean it. Yeah. You don't mean that. Yeah, You're you. just saying it because everyone else is saying fuck it. Fuck you, you have to take it anyways. It's not yeah. a choice. You don't get an option to opt out of the thank you or not. You take your thank you and keep it moving, man. <laughs> Do not talk to the bus driver. I'll be tapping the sign. <laughs> don't thank me. <laughs>